Hello, hello, welcome back. My name is Saban and welcome to a new series that I'd like to call Builder Tips. And this time I'm going to be doing it on stone. So giving you some ideas, I'm no way a professional, okay? But I can certainly give you some tips on making a stone structure, some description. I've just done this um, stone building, which is the Moon Lord Church, and it has a little golf uh, trick shot. So if you haven't seen that, check the link on the screen and in the description if you want to check that out because it's got some cool little interactive bits to it, which I played around with, which I want to do a little bit more as well. I get a lot of messages asking on um, sort of ideas and sort of how do I do that, what blocks and all these kind of things. So I'm going to go through a stone building to help you with maybe some of your structures. So what I'm going to do is show you five different wall ideas and then go through a background wall concept that you can use to make it look a little bit more interesting and then a way of decorating it and then a full build of using all those different ideas into one and make a cool little build. So things to note with all these ideas, they're all painted gray. They all have this foundation, which is a two layer foundation, which I really recommend because it just makes it look like it's part of the ground rather than just sort of dropped there. So first concept is the one I actually used for the Moon Lord Church, and that is just using a sand sandstone brick making a two block wide wall and then use an iridescent brick to break it up and I mean you can break up any different which way that you would like really and just sort of mix it up and then to break up this repetitive sort of nature of that brick is just to put odd little bits of stone slab and that will break it up and just make it look a bit more regular and then a way to make it even more regular is using palladium column to just sort of make these stones kind of stand out a little bit more you could just use palladium column along with these and just make it uh, very jagged and textured but i kind of like the idea of having it a bit randomized and making it look a little bit more interesting concept number two is pretty much the same but you're using titan block instead uh, to actually create this dark edge on the the one side and it kind of makes it a nice blend between the two otherwise you're just using stone slab and palladium column again to make a little bit of a texture in terms of the brick wall because brick walls don't tend to be the same they all tend to be a bit regular so it makes it look a little bit more realistic the concept is a bit more of a ruined kind of weathered kind of look and you actually use the cracked blue brick which you have to be really careful with this um, because if you step on it a bit too hard it kind of breaks <laughs> so yeah be careful and taking them down can be difficult but if you use mud wall on the interior which is a bit smoother and a bit more cleaner so it actually looks like it hasn't been weathered and then the outer edge can be a little bit more cracked and worn away and then using stone slabs to just sort of break it up it does protect it from any damages so you can't accidentally d destroy it <laughs> and the fourth concept i would say is probably a bit more common and usually you'd see the brick being used just by itself uh, it's just the normal gray brick uh, that you can make but if you add these little elements you can actually make it look a little bit more irregular so that you've got some larger blocks as well as smaller ones using the stone slab again non-accented because the accented one separates itself and it doesn't look quite right when you use it with in this kind of effect in some effects it will and i will show you that later but if you use the iridescent brick with it as well you can make a sort of a, a different sort of blended 3d kind of look to it and if you add a little bit more on that side as well you can make quite a big wall and it kind of looks quite cool so it's another way of sort of mixing it up and just making it look a little bit different and the fifth concept is using a mixture of materials so this is just using sandstone brick the same as normal and down here you can actually make it look a little bit different this is using mahogany fence and it kind of makes a different color and a different element to it and if it's basically just bashing it once with the hammer it actually creates a little bit of a space and also if you use a boreal fence that can leave a little gap as well which kind of makes it look a little bit cooler so it's, it can give you a different effect in terms of a wall and then if you mix in stone slab as well that will make it look a little bit different and again palladium column just to oops you got to color that <laughs> the palladium column kind of completes it and just makes it look a little bit different as well so which looks kind of cool 
So once you've got your main structure down using those little techniques, depending on which wall you wanted to do, this is just the basic wall. So then from there, we just wanted to make it a little bit more regular. So we use the stone slab just to give a little bit of texture. Now, if you've got a ceiling or a wall that you wanted to break up a little bit, you can add this stone slab in the same way and just make it a little bit random. And then it just gives it a bit more texture and makes it a little bit nicer to look at, I think. And then from there, you can add the palladium column just to create a bit more texture on the outer wall, just to complete the look. Now, once you've done that, you can then fill out the walls. Now, there's loads of different options. If you wanted just a solid kind of wall where it has no irregularities or anything like that, you can certainly do something like that with the stone slab wall, or you can use blue tiled wall painted gray. That can also look quite nice, but a little effect that you can do is if you use a blue tiled wall with a blue slab wall and just randomize sort of little bits and little sections, it can give it a bit more texture and look a little bit more natural. Another effect is you can use Titan Stone Wall as well, and that makes a really darker background. And I kind of like the look of it when you're using it as a fireplace. A way to make this fireplace stand out is to actually use stone slab blocks to actually surround the fireplace and deactuate them. It kind of fits in with the background. You can paint it white as well, and that kind of makes it stand out a little bit more, which I'll show you in a second. And also pink tiled wall as a combination, it stands out against the wall so you can make a chimney breast if you wanted to. Now, if you're creating a sort of a castle vibe in terms of your build, you can use this stone accented block, which then separates itself from other materials. Like you can see, you can create this effect on the roof. And then if you hammer it, you can kind of make it a little bit more blended. And as you can see, when you do the under ridges, it actually blends in with the actual normal roof, which kind of makes it fit in a little bit more. Now, another alternative from the fireplace is actually to make a window. And if you're doing it as a kind of castle-y, kind of old-fashioned look, then using the lead fence or the iron fence, it can make a really nice window. I'm going to use the lead fence this time, and you can just make an opening, and it lightens up the room, and it looks really cool. A way to make this look a little bit more realistic is actually, again, to use the stone slab and deactivate it as well to create a window ledge and a sort of a window frame and by all means make it as fancy or not as fancy as you as you might want by just using the hammer so once you've done that you can actually add a little bit more detail and add some wooden beams and boreal wood seems to work really well with this kind of stone it kind of looks like it fits a lot more So combining all these different techniques, you can build something that looks a little bit like this. So it looks quite detailed and I've added a sort of a gate system, which is the exact same as doing the window, but you just do it as a, a larger sort of structure, that's all. And I've actually added a sensor here, so it actually works as a door. Now they have added a normal gate as well as part of 1.4, which you can obviously use as, I mean, I've used it as a back entrance for this particular one and another sort of effect you can have is these little hanging lighting uh, areas which basically accented stone slab with the boreal wood again as the same as the sort of the sort of wooden structure that we used for the ceiling but just using it the opposite way to actually to actually support the hanging fire so I hope this has helped your builds and if it has please let me know in the comments or if you've got any specific questions then let me know and I will answer them in the comment section and if you've got a suggestion for the next building tips video please write that down and I'll try and help you out as best I can. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of these and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, bye!